Hey guys, Brian here with Mustang Mods EcoBoost Garage, and today we're going to go to Galpin Auto Sports to get my factory tune reinstalled back in the EcoBoost Mustang. So many of you guys may know what's going on with my car, but uh, some of you may not. So I'm going to kind of refresh a little bit on the story. Basically, I had the Ford Performance Tune Calibration installed in the vehicle since about two months after I bought it. Uh, now, when I bought the Ford Performance Tune package, it comes with the ProCal software. And apparently it says on the instructions that you're supposed to be able to restore it back to the factory by using that software. Well, I found out when I got the Cobb that that's not actually the case. So I purchased the Cobb and I tried to hook it up and I already did a video on that uh, with a little bit of a review. But um, what I didn't know at that point in time was that my Cobb was not actually making a connection to the vehicle. The only way that I was able to get it to connect was in demo mode. So it gives me a message whenever I try to plug in the Cobb that was saying basically that it is not supported by this vehicle, uh, which basically means it's not marrying to the vehicle because it can't see the PCM. So after I figured that out, I called Ford Performance and they basically said that, you know, this is something that they removed from the newer versions of the software. So on the 15 through 17, they have the restore function, but on the 18 plus, they do not. So after I found out that information, I was told that I, took the, I had to take the car back to Ford so they could reflash it. And I tried that, but unfortunately, they were unable to connect to the PCM as well. So what I found out is in the process of writing the Ford Performance Tune file on there, it actually puts some kind of setting to block the PCM from other uh, connecting devices. So today, I actually took the car down to Galpin Auto Sports. This video is a little bit uh, backwards. I already went. I'm shooting the, the intro uh, afterwards. So I, as you can see, I've already got the, the hat. I bought myself a shirt while I was down there. Um, so, you know, just to let you know, I was able to get everything back to normal. So watch the video and check out how the process looks. And also keep an eye out because there's a lot of cool cars coming up later in this video. They have a great showroom down there, and you're going to be really impressed with a lot of the stuff that you see. All right, guys, so I made it down here to Galpin Auto Sports, and uh, I'm going to get ready to get my car serviced. They're basically going to just try to reflash the ECU, or they might have to do the rebuild thing that I was talking about before. We'll see how that works out. Okay, guys, so they finished up with my vehicle, and I've got myself a couple of souvenirs, hat and a shirt, and I got the wife a hat. Wow, I just got to say, you know, these guys really got their stuff together, and uh, I'm glad that they were able to get this thing fixed. Hopefully now when I hook up the Cobb access port, it'll be able to recognize it. Okay guys, so I just wanted to try out the Cobb access port really fast to make sure that it does actually connect to the PCM. And it was successful. Um, I was not getting the message that I was getting before. Uh, this time when I, when I uh, clicked on the install button, it uh, popped up with a message saying that to verify that this is the correct vehicle information, which was a 2019 EcoBoost Mustang performance pack with active exhaust, which is what I have. So it must be working. Um, and if that's the case, then I should be good to go to load the tune files from Ryan Martin. So, wow, this is beautiful. These are some old classic cars here. What do we got? Some old Model A's, Model T's. Look at this buggy. Here's a Ford GT. Now, what year is this Ford GT from? Is this the, one of the renditions that came out in like 2006 time period, or is this the original? This is a kit car, okay. This is the original. Wow. So this is a Shelby, right? Yes. Yeah. Sweet. And this Mustang looks like it's been through its paces. Yeah. Wow. And then this is like this, oh, this is a fastback. This is a, yeah, 64 and a half, or is this a 65? They're both the same car, it's just, this has been restored, and this one's all 
There's a GT500 over here. Wow, that, I like the color on this one right here. And this is like, what, a 60, 68? It's got the more aggressive nose. That is really sweet. Wow. And then these got all these Ford GTs over here. So these are the newer style Ford GTs, right? This is the 2005, 2005. The 2005, 2006 kind that came out. Yeah. And then this is the 2017 current model. Wow. Yeah, so I remember when they came out with this kind over here, it was basically to beat Ferrari again, right? Because Ferrari had the fastest production vehicle at the time at like 220 something miles an hour. And then they, they had this and it came out and it did like 240 something miles an hour or something like that. Or maybe my numbers are off, but... I'm not sure. Lots of cool stuff over here. And then down here we've got some newer style Mustangs. What is this 725? That's a 725 horsepower. And we got the new GT500. Super Snake. Yeah, these are just all amazing cars. I like the paint job on this. This is really nice. Is that paint or? Yeah, it's paint. It's not vinyl. And you got some some old uh, kitty cars over here. Is that a Pinto? This is a Ferrari. <laughs> no way. It's kind of different than what you think of when you think of a Ferrari, huh? And I've seen one of these before. These are pretty cool. It's on one of those restoration move, uh, shows or whatever that they they bought one and were messing around with it. A little Studebaker, or what is this? Wow, look at the meats on that thing. <laughs> Another Mustang. This place is amazing. I could live in here. <laughs> Is that a is that a Lamborghini back there? Uh, that's a Pantera. Yeah. No way. We let it go. Cool. Oh, this is a Jaguar, but this is the Pantera. It looks different than the Panteras that I've seen before. It looks more like a Countach almost. Similar to the Countach? Wow, that's awesome. Love that plane. Yeah, this is just amazing stuff here. What is this thing? This is just like somebody have like an amalgamation that somebody made? Right. It's pretty cool though. It's off of a Mustang? Holy crap. <laughs> and then this thing looks like something out of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something right here. Good grief. I'm probably going to run out of storage.
storage on my phone, but I can't help it. <laughs> I gotta keep shooting because everywhere you look, there's just awesome cars. This thing is a mean looking Mustang right here. Good grief. Red Mist. <laughs> this thing's got a chandelier on the front of it. Is this a is this a Rolls? What is this? Huh? That thing is ridiculous. That's Liberace's car. Yeah. Makes sense now. <laughs> Another GT500. This is like a '69, maybe. And then, of course, the Bronco right there. That's really nice. And the mystery machine. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't take my son here because he would be trying to climb through the ropes and on top of every single car. Now, what the heck is this thing right here? Good grief. This looks like Liberace's car, too. <laughs> what is this? The Pink Panther Limo. Look at that thing. Crazy. That is super awesome. It's got bathtubs for seats. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. Alright guys, so I just want to wrap up this video. Um, yeah, those guys down there at the Galpin Auto Sports really hooked me up. They did a really good job. They got the car flashed back to factory, so I'm able to use my Cobb access port. And to top it off, they didn't even charge me anything. Well, they, they did it first. They charged $250 for a couple of hours of labor. But uh, it, during their out their, uh, throughout the process, they were in communication with Ford Performance since they deal directly with their parts and installations and whatnot. They're a certified Ford Performance dealer. Uh, they were able to get that uh, covered under warranty and get reimbursed for it. So they basically reimbursed me the $250, and, and so I got charged nothing, which is great. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I highly recommend those guys. They're uh, they're fantastic. They did a great job. They were quick. They were very professional. The, the showroom is just gorgeous. All those cars to look at while you're down there. So I highly recommend it. If you're in the Van Nuys area, check out Galpin Auto Sports. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and stay tuned because I'm going to have some more videos coming up about the tuning process with Ryan Martin of PD Tuning. So so stay tuned to Mustang Mods EcoBoost Garage for all of your modifications to your S550 EcoBoost Mustang.